Hey guys, this is TK. In this video demonstration, we are going to configure Cisco ASA Firewall with a uh, AAA configuration using ACS Stack Act Server. We are primarily focusing on authentication and authorization configuration. However, I have listed accounting configuration here as well. We are not going to apply them or verify. We will be configuring two users, admin user with full command privileges and standard user with limited command privileges. Admin user will have shell command privilege 15 and standard user will have 2. So first let's start configuring AS, uh, ACS. Okay, so first let's go ahead uh, to location and create a new location. We'll name it lab and we create a new device type ASA. and let's add the A uh, ASA to this ACS server select the location uh, location and select the device type here the IP address of the ASA is 10111 and the shared secret is Cisco Let's create an identity group. Admin user will put on admin user identity group and a standard user will put on a uh, user's identity group. When we create a user account, first the admin account. Let's select the correct identity group, admin users, and then let's create a password and let the uh, the user to change the password first time uh, login. Also, we specify enable password here. Let's create a standard user username user put it into the identity group users we'll see uh, once we configure we can avoid this enable password uh, once the shell command authorization configured Let's create a policy and let's create a shell uh, policy for admin user first. And let's set up uh, the default privilege level 15 and also uh, the maximum privilege level 15 for this user. then create a, another profile for standard user here we'll specify uh, privilege level 2 default and maximum and now let's specify the command sets here for the admin user we'll uh, pretty much let all commands available so we don't have to specify any commands we just have to check this box saying that uh, anything permit everything not specified below which means pretty much everything the user commands standard user let's specify commands here let's allow uh, show running config
initial version just a few random show commands show op show interfaces let's submit this configuration and let's go ahead and bind all this configuration into a uh, authorization policy and here we don't need time and date for conditions but we do need the command sets let's create the first one for the admin user and let's specify the admin shell which pretty much allow all commands I'm sorry which pretty much uh, allow uh, privilege 15 and admin commands on the command sets this one is for the standard user privilege 2 and use the command that we specify manually so we have these two rules defined save the changes let's go ahead and configure ASA first thing we'll do is we create a local uh, admin account with privilege 15 and privilege 15 is important because if we want to fall back to um, local authorization shell you need privilege 15 defined locally so first we'll define the, the ACS server with the right protocol and the IP address and the key here we use stackax and IP address 10 1, 1, 100 with the key of Cisco and let's configure this authentication commands first first we'll remove uh, what we have uh, defined which is uh, SSH via local authentication and then we'll apply all authentication to be through ACS server and fall back to local okay, so let's verify the authentication part first username admin the temporary password and now it should prompt us to change the password we enter the new password retype the new password and we see the privilege level is 15 which doesn't really come into play yet do the same for the user create a new password re-enter the password and here we don't have enable privileges because that the, st the strict privilege that we specify uh, for this user as 2 so this is um, 
the A uh, ACS 13029 er uh, error which even we don't have authorization configured it doesn't let you to uh, come to the privilege prompt because the privilege set up as 2 for this user so what we'll do is we'll log in back as admin user which has privilege 15 and let's apply the uh, the uh, author authorization commands which will let us to uh, bypass the enable uh, check and the part that does uh, 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 bypass the enable check is that this this auto enable command uh, on the exact authentic uh, exact authorization uh, config set so let's do apply this Th auto enable and let's verify that we should go directly to privilege exec prompt without going to enable which we which we are and over here if we check our current privilege level is 15 and let's try with the standard user and we 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 are right on privilege exec mode, but we cannot check uh, the current privilege level because the command authorization failed. But we can do show running config, config and uh, show up and so forth. The the commands that we specify manually under uh, command set for this user group, we can uh, we can uh, execute those commands. So let's first enable uh, the the current privilege uh, check on our command sets for this user uh, commands. Let's add that command so we can verify. should be able to execute that command now which we can and it's 2 the way we set up let's add this command also show route I think I forgot to apply the command let me go back and reapply the command. Now we can execute that command as well. So if we log in as an admin user, and also we cannot exit now because we need privilege, uh, privilege to exit that execute exit command as well so we add that to our list we can execute that so let's log in as an admin user and we pretty much have all command access without any any restriction so that's pretty much it um, here are the commands thank you very much